previously on the Moon Graffon Show. Hey folks, uh, welcome back to the program, Moon Graffon Show. Appreciate you being part of the program. I'm going to jump gears a little bit. You know, we're not really a sports program. We talk a lot of politics, I know, but uh, I'm the most nonpartisan, nonpolitical show on the air today. Talk a little bit about my man, Tim Tebow. Uh, I, I'll be real blunt with you. I, I think the world of Tim Tebow, I, I, I like what he's done as a football player, and I like what he's done as a, a person that is a great witness for Jesus Christ. Let me tell you what I've, I've had enough of. Though. I've had enough of the press driving a young man in the ground ever since he came out of college. This is not new. Everybody knows he's making a comeback. The Philadelphia Eagles have signed him to play for them, and who knows if he makes it or not. That's not even the point of what I'm going to talk about. The point is real simple. Tim Tebow is a good person. Tim Tebow is a good man. They're driving a 27-year-old man into the ground for no reason whatsoever. You tell me what Tim Tebow has did to anybody. He's done nothing to anybody. All he did is try to, he's trying to live his life, and he's trying to live a dream. He wants to play professional football, and he's still got that dream in his mind. He's working his butt off. Now, look, there are football experts that say he can't play, and I'm not even talking about them because the people that know pro football players know it a lot better than I do. What I'm talking about is the destruction of a 27-year-old man that's done nothing to anybody except been a blessing to anybody he comes across. Tim Tebow, he goes out and helps build churches. He goes out and helps build hospitals. He goes to prisons and, and talk to people who are in deep trouble. He goes out and he's the man that people would like to be like. But what does the press do? They can't stand his guts because he has a faith in Jesus Christ. That's what this whole thing's about. It's not about Tim Tebow, the football player. It's about Tim Tebow, the Christian. We can't have a Christian man on the football field kneeling down, bowing down, and saying, thank you, God, for the talent and ability you've given me. This is about the destruction of his Christianity. They would rather Tim Tebow have earrings, have tattoos all over his body, wear his pants down where you can see his crack of his rear end. That's what they want. They want somebody who's got four or five children out of wedlock. They want somebody out there that's been picked up with DWIs and, and been on drug and cocaine. So my suggestion to Tebow is go knock up a few women because that's what the press and the world wants. Tim Tebow has done nothing, nothing at all to anybody. And the only thing they after this man is because he's a born-again Christian that's living the life and he's not being a hypocrite. The hypocrite is the people in the press and the sports uh leagues that are just trying to run this man because of his faith. You know, Michael Sam was the gay guy. He, got dra he didn't get drafted. He did get drafted. And then he didn't make it. They were more excited because the guy was gay. Okay? I don't want to stand that. Here we got a role model for every citizen of the United States of America. And what do we do? We throw him in the ground and we jump on him and we stomp on him. And the kid has done nothing to nobody. I don't know if he can play football, but it doesn't matter. He's going to be successful. People are jealous of him. And they don't like it, but I love him, and I think he's a great walk and a great witness, and I'd want my kid to be like him.